Hey Cancers, welcome to February 2018. Hope you guys are doing well. So a bunch of cards just dumped everywhere on the spread. They were all face down, but they were also very neat and packaged. So this is something you haven't faced yet, Cancers. Um, let's see what's going on, okay? So literally all packaged nicely. Uh, wasn't a mess, but it's something that you haven't faced. So there is some fighting. There is some fighting going on, a lot of focus on the past. Um, you know, my astrology teacher is always saying cancers, they have the memory of an elephant. Like they really never forget, especially when it comes to an emotion. I think what it is, is, you know, a lot of the times when we have a memory, it is because it's linked to a feeling, you know, you don't necessarily remember what somebody said, you don't remember what they were wearing or, you know, what they were doing, but you definitely remember how you felt when they said it. And that's why cancers have such an amazing memory because they, they, they feel, you know, they, they feel that pain, they feel that past. So still a lot going on in the past, a lot of focus on the past still. It is time cancers to, to move on. It's time to move on because the fighting um, is kind of being worn now uh, on your sleeve. You know, your your broken heart is is on your sleeve and people see that and it's hard for people to get into your aura and get into your space um, when you have I'm broken written on your arm. You know, like that's something that um, anybody would kind of be like, okay, that cancer kind of is really, you know, uh, angry at the past or angry at somebody in the past. So it really is time to recognize that you have a lot more to be, um, happy and thankful for. Um, but it's time to, to put the past aside. Um, and it, of course it's easier said than done because I'm, I'm an air sign. I'm a double air sign. So it's easy for me to be like, Oh, just get over it. But I understand as a cancer, uh, you guys are, are more feelings based. Um, but you know, water, it cleanses, it comes in, it comes out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it can kill and it can hurt and you know, it can be incredibly dangerous. Um, but it is time to recognize that water moves and you can't, you're not going to look at water and that be the exact same water, uh, in a stream two seconds later. So water flows, let it flow out. Okay. Um, because right now you guys are kind of at a little bit of a standstill when it comes to your emotions, because it's warm here. It's, it's tepid. It's okay. I can handle this emotion. I can handle what's going on right now. Um, but if you would just take that risk to let go of the past and to move forward, you would be so much happier, so much brighter. You would actually, um, it would lead into, a lot more positivity and a lot better times when it comes to this partner, this relationship. Okay. It is stemming from this older King of Swords type energy. So that's either the partner that you're with, or that's the partner that is the reason why you don't want to move forward. The reason why you're still hurting from the past. So this person plays mind games, um, scaly, definitely scaly. So either dry flaky skin, um, or just kind of like has that, that kind of slimy type, um, like kind of like a snake, you know, this person's either like a snake could, could be a Gemini. Like I've heard Gemini's kind of be, they can be kind of snake like, like I have heard that before. Um, this person has some kids around them for sure. Uh, they may not all be living, but they definitely have some, some younger influences in their lives, um, or it could even just be younger brothers or younger sisters. Um, and this person is, is very frustrating. This person is incredibly frustrating. The thing is cancer is, you know what you need to do when it comes to this person, when it comes to this partnership, you know exactly what you need to do. You have all the tools, you have all the intuition to make that decision. It's just making it, it's just deciding I'm going to move on. I'm going to cut the cords. Um, and then this person can come in, uh, which is the Knight of Wands. So a younger, optimistic, um, more adaptable fire type sign. Somebody who has a little bit more pep in their step, a little bit more fiery energy. And somebody who can really move mountains with you. Somebody where it's like, wow, that person actually wants to move forward um, instead of this king of swords energy that wants to kind of just stay exactly where you are. You know, you're, I'm not letting you go forward and that will create a lot of newness in your life, Cancer. Okay. So those are the cards that popped out 
A lot of fighting over the past, but it is time to move on. It's only fair to the partnership that you're in um, or that you're trying to create because this King of Swords, that's either the partner that you're with or the partner that has hindered uh, the ability to move forward with the partner that you're that you want to be with but you do know what you need to do and once you kind of own that knowledge and own that intuition about what you need to do then all new beginnings will come in and they'll be amazing because you definitely want to create something with your soulmate but it's just been really negative right now um, and feeling kind of powerless feeling like you have a lot going on and only focusing on this one thing when it comes to your soulmate only focusing on the one thing although there's so much more uh, to focus on and to acknowledge and to look at uh, the full moon on January 31st is bringing up those issues that started on August 21st 2017 to finally be cleared and a lot of these issues are childhood traumas uh, they are ego issues they are confidence issues um, recognizing where in our childhood you know something clearly happened or a parent or older sibling or or friend or teacher somebody of prominence put your ego in check somebody said no you can't do this because you're this and you've lived that out you've owned that um and it is now time to think about it and be like what what am i owning that is not mine to own you know what what did somebody say to me as a kid that i'm now saying that's who I am. You know, what am I owning? For instance, it could be something as, as simple as, you know, um, my sister who has a lot of cancer in her chart, her mom says that she's overweight. And I'm just like, you're perfect. You know, you don't need to tell yourself that you're overweight because then you end up uh, manifesting whatever you are insecure about, you know, but people keep telling you it's like, a do it's like training a dog, bad dog, bad dog, bad dog, you start to believe it. Right. So it's time to kind of let those go because somebody in your family or friends when you were younger uh, gave you this wrong sense of security when it came to your emotional fulfillment and what you need to be emotionally fulfilled. And that's really hindered your reputation, how you see yourself um, and also how you see yourself within the family unit. And it is time to let go of that because it's just created something really important uh, to be lacking within your your home and family life. OK. So situation is a knight of pentacles. So this is a younger type energy, somebody who um, you've either known them for three years, three months, three weeks, three days, um, some sort of three energy with them or 30 or 33, excuse me, or 13, some sort of three energy there. Um, this person definitely has a dark side, but you like that about them. You like their dark side. They're definitely focused on their power um, and moving forward. Like it's very annoying for them that they don't have the power that they that they know that they can achieve. So power can mean, you know, emotional, financial, spiritual, sexual, intellectual. Um, and they kind of have now put the relationship at a distance because it's annoying that they don't have that that thing that they need in order to move forward. An obstacle and an aid when it comes to this person is change change when it comes to your ego as well cancer so making that change embracing the change that came in um embracing the change that's going to happen right now that's in the subconscious that as soon as you acknowledge you know i love change because it brings uh, many blessings that's when it'll come in and it'll really be able to get you to where you want to be when it comes to this knight of pentacles okay subconsciously cancer doing a lot of fighting a lot of fighting for change a lot of fighting for freedom and there's multiple people involved. So definitely thinking about other people when it comes to making a change and just being like, I need to kind of maneuver and work with all these people um, and just make sure that everything's smoothed out, make sure that everybody knows what's going on. Um, because right now people are just kind of putting their head down and just sort of focusing on uh, what's in front of them instead of kind of looking up and being like, well, what more is there? You know, when it comes to this change and this fighting for freedom, people are very uh, narrow minded when it comes to it. But it is time to look up to the optimistic side of things. And you're thinking about this queen of water, queen of uh, cups. So somebody who is quite emotional, um, 
and the relationship has been kind of on thin ice a little bit. Like it's been a little bit risky to be able to say what you need to say with this person because they are so narrow minded. Um, and this person either hides behind their hair or will hide behind some sort of mask or, or facade in order to hide their true feelings about a situation. Um, and that's somebody who's really on your mind a lot. Okay. Same with this knight of sorts. Same with this younger, um, good looking, uh, air sign who really kind of, he, he or she, um, it's somebody that you have a karmic relationship with. So it definitely could be like a soulmate type relationship or, um, you know, a child or, or a parent or a sibling, somebody that you've had multiple lifetimes with, uh, somebody very prominent in your relationship, somebody that you either grew up with or you want to purchase a home with, something like that. You want to, you want to spend time with this person. Um, and this person kind of, they're very, like I'm hearing the word joint, like they either, they're kind of like your, your movement. They're your joint. Like they're, they're so important to you. They're the reason why you move. They're the reason why you can move forward. Okay. And that person also is affecting the change and the night of pentacles. Okay. Cancer, you are manifesting out a lot. So be careful what uh, you're creating, what you're saying, what you're thinking, because it's all coming back tenfold. Family and friends, they're get they're getting prepared for some alone time. Family and friends are they're retreating in, they're doing what they need to do. They're preparing for alone time because they know that you need to um, embrace this change and move forward. Hope and fear is really looking at what you've created so far and being positive about it and saying, you know what, I deserve this. And that is coming back to childhood where, you know, especially if you're a moon in cancer, the moon in cancer either has a mom who was the best mom ever and like, you know, cookie cutter, uh, you know, always had like Sunday dinners made and apron and like the whole cookie cutter, perfect, um, perfect for you when it came emotions or the moon and cancer had some issues with their mom because they expected their mom to be that, that maternal nurturing type. And the, the mom just wasn't there. So definitely time to look back and, and say, I do deserve a lot more nurturing than I allow into my life. Um, and not being afraid of that. The final card cancer is recognizing that like I said, you're manifesting hardcore. The first step is to take a look at this queen of cups, this queen of cups here, and just kind of see how this person fits in when it comes to what you're creating. So if this is your mom, um, or, you know, an older sister or a, a sibling, somebody, or even just, you know, a, a friend that you've had for a very long time, what has this person taught you and what are you now manifesting out? Cause this person, um, is the reason why things are feeling kind of stagnant when it comes to the Knight of pentacles and why this change and fighting for change, um, is so prominent in your life right now. This, this queen of cups really has said some things to you that are now deep seated and rooted. And with this full moon on January 31st, um, and February leading into it, you can, cause it usually lasts for around the energy can last for quite some time with this full moon. Um, cause it's so powerful figuring out what childhood trauma this queen of cups gave you that you're manifesting out into the world and that you're now creating into your world. And then you'll finally find some balance. You'll finally unroot it and you can finally find some balance, some peace to really create what you want. Okay. If you would like a personal reading where we can figure exactly, uh, out who this person is and what they've been doing to you, we'll get to the root cause of, of everything. We'll embrace your changes. We'll get you to the Knight of pentacles, Knight in shining armor. Send me a personal message. My email address is below. I include a full astrology and numerology analysis. I hope you guys have an amazing February 2018. Love you, Cancers, and I will see you in March. Bye, guys.